All right, so we are back. Uh, I've been having plenty of issues trying to get things rolling here. I'm going to bring these people right on back home. Um, we definitely have some problems here that need to be addressed. One, we have only really amazing, but only resources based on food supplies and growing things. We're kind of lacking in the copper and metals department. Uh, entirely in the metals department, actually. Uh, I don't think we found anything metal related whatsoever. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out. And if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more great content. So I've been, uh, um, I've been a few days since the last recording. I tried to recording a session and there was an issue where uh, when I started, I gave some of this information already, but I, there's a the first half of this video is going to be from a different setting. That's probably my voice is all wonky at this point. Really head coldish right now. Apologies for that, but content-wise, we had a break in the middle of this video. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at things, and you guys have been giving me some nice feedback and letting me know you know you're really liking this. So I was like, man. There's some serious issues. If I was just playing this solo me, I'd be like, I'm out of here. I'm going to find a different cool map. And I thought about that. But all the feedback and I just, I just, I just like the challenge, I guess. And so I want to keep going with it. So we are going to press on with this lovely village of ours. So Wallsburg here is going to continue to attempt to bring itself into the uh, modern era. So there's a couple things that we have to review. Let's look at the knowledge base we have. We do have leadership, uh, apparently not protecting the food at this point. Oh, we can get it. We can get it now. I think we'll go ahead and start that because that's a good one. That really helps us out with storage. It's also related. I'm pretty sure protecting the food is a prerequisite to the uh, um, portage or portage, as people are saying. It's portage, the ability to move stuff around over rivers and, and so on. Um, carrying things around, that's the point. Uh, so again, this is on a real-time server, so things are just blasting by here. I'm playing also on uh, Holy Quest for Swords, so there'll be a, a new series that'll be just very intermittent with clips from that play. But we've got agriculture here, we got uh, animal capture, we got the Elder Council, we have herbalism for doctors, uh, we can start doing uh, br um, uh, fermentation. Uh, what else? We got uh, javelin weapons, we got the wheel. Uh, mud bricks for brickworks and uh, br mud brick walls, which I haven't also haven't dealt with yet. Uh, and then the leadership for the more important ability to have multiple towns. So now that we've got kind of the basics recapped, the kicker that we're missing is that uh, this one, two, three, four, five, these five tiles have essentially nothing of use to them. There's a tiny little silver spot down here. Uh, tile six or around the clock number six here or whatever it is. Uh, that's got clay, it's got buffalo, it's got fish, but nothing other than that. It's just lots of growing space by the rivers, which is great. We're going to have lots and lots of food. Tile 7 is our big uh, provider here. It's got our papyrus and our ba uh, uh, barley and buffalo, uh, triple fish, lots of clay. It's a great tile. It's probably going to be our next tile, to be honest. And then uh, and then we have uh, number 8 here, which has, again, big river with bit of clay, some fish, some ostrich, stuff like that. So we've got lots of healthy growing space in these four tiles. Aside from that, we don't have much that we've searched out that gives us anything of great value. Uh, number 17 was this tile down here. Hello. Yay, our protecting your food is done. Uh, this tile down here has uh, a small batch of gold, some barley, uh, clay, dates, uh, on the desert here, yes. It's got dates down here, that's great. Um, this tile over here, the uh, Mr. Aculari, uh, Acularius set up this one. Uh, we can pop up and uh, kind of revitalize that for him, we'll call it. Yeah, we can take that. Uh, dates, lettuce, clay, silt, ostrich, buffalo, fish. So that's, you know, that's where we're at for, for supplies. There are other things around, but we have to basically hunt out and find ourselves some good quality terrain for us. So this tile we're going to claim. Uh, this tile we're going to claim for future reference for us. This tile we are also going to claim. Look at the barbarians everywhere. My goodness. Uh, so we could use claiming, which is an interesting thing. If I claim this tile, I can't look up here. This is no visibility, right? 
No visibility, no visibility. This one I have visibility to, even though I have no troops on it. So the it's because the claim actually counts as a line of sight, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's bring this this lovely ladies and uh, and their their piglets back up to uh, to home and to safety. So let's uh, let's get them. Come on, up you go. Hurry up now. All right, we'll get them in there and we'll uh, head back into Wallsburg and have a look around. All right, we're gonna disband uh, the sows and their piglets <coughs> that came to visit. Uh, 386 population, sitting at 120 sows now, and uh, if we mouse over here, I have 79 actives. So we definitely have a uh, gender uh, imbalance here. Uh, we go ahead and put out some large... Uh, before I do that, actually, let's think about what we're going to spend our resources on, because we are quite limited. We have only 25 wood at the moment, making 2.2, that's pretty good. Hose, 0.9 growth, uh, we have 38 of them, and uh, hammers, we have 2.2 as well. 30 barbarians are coming to raid the village. Well, that sucks. Uh, you guys are probably going to be enough. Hopefully. Let's go ahead and uh, merc up another 15. Just in time. I literally clicked that like a second before it was too late. So I guess I'm going to have a look. And here's the deal. We want to keep growing our lettuce. We want to keep growing our date palm. And expand the productivity of the food in this place because we are sitting at 83 percent i'd like to have a little surplus i think this growth issue is the the sow and piglet relate ratios yeah just because we brought a lot of extras in with conflict at 57 we get a lot of um, a lot of murders and i'd like to fix that and i think that's going to be fixable with the uh advent of our new poli uh, political situation. Have we introduced any of these? No, we're still in the old ones. So you see, I can go with leadership now. Uh, we won't give ourselves a contribution or won't give a personal contribution of our funds because we don't have any yet until that's en enabled in a future uh, tech. So there we go. We've added in the leadership. It gives us 50 state as opposed to the old one, which was uh, banned something or other. Okay, we can't even switch back. Uh, 100 capital administration, which is also lovely because our capital, or our city now has uh, more administrative power. We can claim, uh, what's the local cost? Administrative power? Local costs are population management and building management. And then the global is the regions that we've claimed. How's the fight going, guys? Are we getting, uh, we're shooting some dudes here? Boom! Health it. So we have all of our... Whoa, what the heck? What's up with that? How did you... Okay, there's now a new... We, we fought these guys at this wall before. Uh, that's not great. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. That breach in the wall was not there last night. So we'll have to fix that if we survive. Admit defeat? No, thank you. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this. We're definitely going to lose this. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, we to they totally just killed 30 of our adult male population. Half of our population just died because when I changed the wall, sometimes you got to check these and I should have known. See this wall piece here? That was placed as a tile to cover this, but it, ro it rotates weirdly. So they're just walking right around our wall. Well... Most unfortunate, they're also going to walk off with a ton of valuable resources. Let's go to the map to see if we can see where they go. Maybe they'll just go next door to us and uh, not run off all the way, but they'll probably run right back to the city and we'll never see that stuff again. Yeah, right now it says the battle's not over yet, and it says our population, we still have 30 there in the Royal Guards. Their population is active of 79, and we have one available job. We'll see what happens when it finally decides to end that fight. Uh, okay, so there's the results of the end of the battle. Uh, they took a lot. Mud, javelins, dates, leather, pottery, clay, stone, wood, four hoes. And they killed all their people off because there was a glitch in the wall. Gosh, that's real great. As if we're not having enough troubles. We got killed by... Oh, and they ran off to the side, too. Interesting. Uh, you know, that's 37 raiders. Is that you guys? No, that's other stuff you've stolen from us, I'm sure. 
Alright, well, I think he went off this way. Oh, maybe, maybe that's him there. No, that's 50 raiders from another event. Yep. That's great. Uh, I think those are rebels from that earlier event. Yep. So, Wallaceburg just got obliterated. Let's see what they've got left now. Yep, that definitely obliterated our population. Look at that. We're now 28 available jobs. We lost... Uh, 20... What do we have? 79 population? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they kicked the teeth out of us. Entirely. Our loyalty is going back up because, you know, now we got less people in the population. Our conflict's going down. Great. So now we have a very imbalanced culture. We have 53 act living male, adult males, like active population males. And we have 116 sows. I feel like we should just send sows off to explore the world by tens until they all die off. Yeah, it's just not, I don't know. They might help, but you don't get much for growth since apparently porcos are rather monogamous. And so you don't end up having a bunch of sows doesn't improve the population growth. Unless you have the corresponding bunch of adult actives to, to deal with it as well. So massive piglet losses. Uh, we won't have very many uh, murders and whatnot in the... Uh, well, actually we still have just as many, oddly enough. Any old pigs, 18 age. Why are we... Huh, yeah, okay. We're losing 5 sows next generation and we're gaining 16 active. So it'll slowly try to balance itself out as the elements age out and whatnot. But this is the issue I had right here. The, po the enemy just walked up and ran right through this. So remember when I doubled up the wall to increase the defense? I decreased the defense because this tile here, there was a wall across here previously. But when I placed this wall, it made this tile, instead of having a wall here, it turned the wall to connect it to that one. Yep, that's a broken problem. Uh, you know, one of the many things that will, I guess, have to be fixed, but uh, yeah. Oops. So we can put this now in that tile again. That's weird. Uh, how many tiles do we have here? I would love to make all of this brick. Is that something we can do? Do we have an income of mud bricks? We don't. We have a massive shortage of population. So, future idea, but not for now, because these mud brick walls look really nice. Looks like you could really defend the space with that. Uh, it said it placed it. It acted like it placed it anyways. No, uh, can I do that? Apparently not. The pigs are just walking on by like it's perfectly fine to just saunter right on by that space. Yeah, it's just not building. Come on, build me a wall, please. Build me a wall? No. Okay, uh, how about you build me a wall this way? Nope. Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> I need a wall, guys. We need a wall. Uh, okay, so let's uh, dismantle. Some of this wall. Will that work? Oh, look, you dismantled the wall and now the wall's there to dismantle. <laughs> See what's happening here? Yeah, it's a bugger. It's a bugger, but we got uh, killed by it. That's how it works. So there is a wall there already, apparently. Uh, but you can't build a new one. Now, if I do this and I build a wall across here. Nope. See what it just did? Turned the wall. So hopefully, uh, <coughs> Ranch Pork will see that. Uh, I'm going to send him a link to this to let him know that that is an issue. So I will then go ahead and change the plan and put a double wall in a different method. There we go. Nice. There's a solution for now, anyways. That's solid. See? This tile, because I didn't put one here, it. it yeah. It's sad. <clears throat> it has to do with not being able to place a second wall on the same tile. So a tile has four sides to it, which indicates to me that there should be four walls potentially placed on the same tile. But it doesn't work that way. You can only build one thing on a tile. See so, you how know, it just places it wherever? And it was the icon was indicating that it would go sideways. Now I place another one and it pulls it in. Do a, do a square like that, and you don't get a square covering the four tiles. You get a square covering one tile. It says, oh no, these tiles are available, but they're not. 
they have walls on them. So, unfortunate, but that's the way it works. And we lost, uh, you know, a, a third of our adult population to that little uh, issue. Uh, speaking of population, we definitely have a limited number of, uh, you know, we're going to go with regular houses for now because uh, I can't afford to have people in slums, but we also can't afford to blast through our resources. We really need to increase some productivity. We have not got Tech 2 fishing, so that's taken care of there. Uh, we have our farms, or our hunters, which are indeed Tech 2, I do believe. Let's check on them. Yes, they look very Tech 2-ish, don't they? Yeah, nice. Uh, they just, they're a quarter, they're a quarter more productive? Three Pelicos instead of four to make the same thing. Let's see if we can expand things here. What is this? This is a woodcutter. We can't expand his farming skills. All right, this guy's got 20 fields already here. Uh, what else do we have? Who else do we got able to farm? Uh, you have 10 fields and the rest is natural sources. Well, can we keep going on you? Can I put more? Oh, I could, eh? Let's shuffle that one right to the edge. Can I do that? Yeah, we can. Uh, are you a farm field? You are a field. Please to move. I'm going to take you in there. Are you a farm field? You are just a natural plant. Yep, you're a natural plant, so no farm field moving for you. It's going to be more efficient to just simply cover over the uh, the natural source of dates. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, that's too bad. I can't fit one up there, eh? Oh, well. There will be next then. And there. There and there. How are we doing on sources? There's 16 natural sources, 15 non-natural sources, as they may be called. Uh, I want you to be in a different spot entirely. So let's shuffle you right over to somewhere where you can work. Oh, lovely. In the corner. Now, I'm not going to fill these in with the current setup because these are... That's a woodcutter again, Drake. These are gathering camps. They can upgrade to farms. And once they do, they go from host, hosting 20 to, I think, 30 to 32, somewhere in there, if, my, if memory serves. Not the woodcutter. <gasps> That's going to drive me nuts. Uh, the woodcutter's also rather inefficient, isn't he? No, he's, he's doing okay, actually. That's odd. He's gathering from here, I guess. All right. Uh, you are now, what, 15? Let's go with the last five date crops for you. Uh, there. There. Uh, Shumpia, where are you going to go? In there, good. And, uh, you still don't, still can't grab any of up here, eh? That's too bad. There I can go. Alright, that. Oh, that's not going to work either. Uh, I want to move you. 19? Yeah. We'll put one more down, uh, really. Really, one tile in the way, man? Really, you gonna be like that? Okay, you you be like that. We'll move you. We'll move you around. We'll say, uh, bring you in over... Uh, where are we gonna put you? Can you, can you fit in there? Man, I wish there was space in there. I might, I might have utilized that space poorly. Alright. I'll admit it. I screwed it up. That's okay. Come on, guy, disappear so we can put another date on in here. That's fine. Put you there. And we'll grab another water sorcerer guy. Water sorcerer? That sounds like something totally different than what I'm trying to say. Another water source. Right there. Lovely. And can you actually... I know I'm not going to put it down because we're at 100% already, but yes. No, I, that is still crowding the space, isn't it? Ah, uh, fine. Drake, why are you so obsessed with these efficiencies? It's silly. I'll let that guy disappear. He should be gone already, but he's not, apparently. So this whole space will fill in when we expand these to Tech 2. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Uh, farm here, what do we got? 10? Can we go with more lettuce growing over this way? That would be loverly. 
there. And there. And there. And there. And there. These are still fertility six. That's beautiful. In there, that's a 4.8, 5.2. This is 5.5. You got a six there. You got a six there. You got a six there. Oh, so good. Five there. 5.8 there. I think that might be all of his. Ooh, 23. Oh, goodness. 23 fields. That's too much. Uh, go away, extra fields. I oopsed. I guess I don't have to take them down. That would, that's silly. Don't do that. We'll have surplus. We'll, we'll just not be utilizing them all. That's all. We'll only had we'll have to add less later when we ups, when we upgrade you. Uh, this guy is sitting... Where's the farm? There he is. He's sitting with 20. Doing his full 3.1. I love the yield off of these farms. That is so good. 3.4 there. How about on this one? You suck. Dude, you suck. You're getting 1.2. He's using 100% of his workforce to produce 1.2 from 77 natural sources. This lettuce farm over here has 20 unnatural sources. And it's 96% exploited at 100%. He's getting 3.4. Does that all make sense? Yeah, I've had people comment on, like, you should add, combine the two. Doesn't matter. Workforce is 100% used. Doesn't matter how many you have in here. They'll only use up to workforce of 102. As the workforce goes up, i.e. it goes from a camp to a farm, the workforce will go up to, I think, 3.8, 3.6, somewhere in there. It's a boost, anyways. And when it does... The number of resources they get we can go up because they can get more. They can get more out of more bang for their buck. So this is a lettuce farm that's producing 1.2. Now, it is 100% used, but that 100% is three dudes producing 1.2. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I want you to go away now and produce me better stuff. So, how do I do that? Well. Let's skim this across. If I do, do I utilize that edge there? Uh, I'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, should we come down here? Six, seven, eight, nine. I want you to finish and then move. That's fine. I think I might have covered a few trees there, and I'd rather not. That's 10 so far. How about down here? How close can I get in here? Right uh, right there. Okay. That's 11. Oh, you know what? I'm going to... Yeah. 12. 13. 14. 15. We don't have the hose for it. Okay. That's fine. I'll slide you down here. Good. Oh, there wasn't any trees. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to kind of leave as many of the trees functioning as I can because these woodcutters really need access to trees and we don't have a lot of trees in our world. Uh, you are grabbing a decent amount of lumber as well. I could probably put one up here to snip both edges, but eh, I don't know. This guy will co cover a bunch of lettuce here and then this guy can add more in lettuce when he gets more hoes as well. So what else can we do? Well, we got more dates we could put in, but we have no hose. We have more lettuce we could put in, but again, no hose. We have hammers, wood, and leather, not a lot of it. So right now, I guess the deal is our population needs to grow. We have 23 available jobs. We've somehow managed to kill off half the population <laughs> of our adults over the course of the last few episodes. Conflict is uh, reducing a little, which will help the loss of life go down uh, we were working on some policies here so let's go back to that state power policy gives us an increase of 50 from 25 helps us uh, manage multiple towns without uh, suffering con the consequences too harshly it also reduces the conflict multiplier that the band had so that'll help reduce that's why our conflicts dropping better administration uh, plus 10 to leader superiority which will come in later in the game one capital leaders so we actually become an official character in the colony i believe or in the city i believe 
Are we in there? That's an old pig. There he is, leaders. That That's us. We kind of look like all the rest of them, but trust me, we're special. Our wealth right now is 1. Our health is 46. Life quality, 12. Intelligence, 26. So we're pretty smart, pretty cool dude. We got some social access. We got 100% water, 100% food. Apparently we get things faster than everyone. But our base wealth is 1. That will change as things adjust. Everybody's wealth right now is 1. Because everybody is in communist utopia right now. Except for that stuff is brewing. There's trouble brewing in the conflict area. So the common good is a new idea that we've got. Or a new, uh, I apologize, new um, policy that we got. It'll affect legitimacy. The common good will give importance to the state and importance to the ministry. I don't know if either of those two are actually implemented in any way, but I've never seen state power or senate power or ministry power be a thing. No, oh, it says not implemented yet on both. Okay. So it's a pointless one to have, but it costs us nothing. It does nothing. Protector of the people, however, is good because that'll boost our legitimacy, which helps other things, uh, according to the military strength. So as we get regain a military, which we currently don't have because they killed them all, uh, we'll get the ability to defend ourselves. Speaking of which, we get the ability to get a boost from having military. Uh, we don't have a military because mm, somebody broke the walls. So the Royal Goats, that sounds great. Lovely name for pig militia, I think. Uh, the yeah we got we got javelins still so let's put uh, some new javelins into that crew of course that's going to cost us a bit of conflict and some loyalty issues see if we can run two sets of 15 ish probably what is it 14 yeah we have 14 left in the javelin supply see what that does to our loyalty uh, 86 still says it's increasing so it hasn't broken it hasn't come into effect yet but it will what else do we need? Well, we have so many techs that we can deal with. Right now we could also start building, that's probably the most important thing would be our llamas, our llamas, our uh, cattle farms. I don't recall what we can grow here. Let me check. Well, it looks like uh, we've got a very simple decision here. We can grow a whopping one animal <laughs> in the desert zone. Can you guess which one? Huh? Anybody? Come on. Camels. That's right. We can have camels. That's all we can have. Uh, where are we going to put them, though? Let's think about this. I think the camels... Well, we could put the camels down here. They'd be just kind of on the outskirts of the production zone. That might be a nice idea. Uh, you're going to have uh, two tiles like there. Where do we put you? Do we diagonal it? It'll look cool, I think, if we do. Let's tuck him over here for now. We can move the building that he's on, I think. Uh, question mark? No, maybe not. Maybe we'll pick the right spot for him right from the get-go, because that would be silly to build them and break everything. I don't think that's the case, though. So I'm, I'm so convinced that's not, but we'll do it anyways. Put that guy there. There, you're go away. You are going to be critical priority, because he's going to be making us aminals. Uh, speaking of aminals, what do we have in here? We have camels. Yay! Okay. This guy allows us to have camels. What do we get here? Low priority. Nobody low priority. Okay. Good. I'm okay with these things being unmanned because we got to take note. Some of the available jobs are things we don't care if they're filled. Like these five jobs here that don't need to be filled really ever unless we have surplus camels. Right now we have four of them in stock. And if we check our inventory, we actually have four there. We're making a zero zero on that because... Uh, because apparently this guy is set to produce camels, but it's producing nothing. Um, hello. We don't have a stockpile set, do we? Oh, we do. <laughs> I told them to maintain a stockpile of four. Mm, probably not worthwhile doing. Because we can, uh, I know we're going to leave it at four. Aren't we? Yes, we'll tell him to only butcher when he has surplus. So let's let him finish. He's got a minute to go, and then we'll give him something to do. Okay, so let's hire some uh, cattle farmers and get them to work. There are two types of pastures you can make. One is a wool pasture. That's for uh, wool for llama, sheep, and something else that produces wool. Can't remember. Capybaras? I don't think they produce. Maybe they produce. Maybe they produce wool. I don't recall. 
I don't remember. Let me check. Okay, so maybe it was just llama and and uh, sheep, but I, I, I thought there was a third one. But anyways, pasture over here, we click and we can get ostrich, buffalo, camels, and goats. That seems a little weird because uh, I, I would love it if that's the case. Are we on arid in this tile? No, we're on... This is desert. Yes, this is desert grass. According to the wiki, we can only grow, uh, only raise camels here. But according to this, looks like we have other options. I don't know, guys. We'll see. Uh, I will tuck this one as close to this corner as I can get away with. Uh, there, it looks like it's the best, the closest. And then I think we'll just try to fit these in as efficiently as we can, I guess. And that's it. That's all I'm going to be able to put in. Third, third one there? Yeah, that's it. Uh, so we desperately need wood. Oh, they're not going to actually fit very well at all, actually. Arrgh. Grumble, grumble, complain. Um, I can move them, I suppose. Tuck them as tight to this side as I can. It's probably the wiser choice. And there. And then we'll shuffle you up to... There? No, there. Oh, there. There. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, that's a weird way to connect. Did I miss a tile? Are they just really awesome? Oh, that's just a very tight corner connection. So that's fine. Once he finishes, he should have... There you go. Apparently he's got two camels each. It, it consumes one of the resource to produce two. I'm not sure what's going on there, but there are three pastures. We used up three of our camels, and we've got six camels walking around in the pasture. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, so 62% six, uh, usage seems a little high, but maybe camels are very high maintenance. I don't know. Uh, we're producing 0.1 camels, which means our butcher will now be able to produce 0.2 production ver runs of this, which is 0.8 meat and 0.1 leather. Eh, not bad. He needs more, but uh, we're not producing it. Now, I think you're probably going to try to... No, you're not. You're not even going to try to stockpile any. Okay. Maybe what we do is we tell the butcher to just go to sleep. Good night, butcher. Let them start to try to stockpile a little bit of the camels, I suppose, and then bring in whatever we can for camels. We do have camels naturally up here, but these guys are not going to be able to have annexes for um, non-wild ones. So uh, We get leather and 1.6 meat and point. Five leather from that. I don't remember what he was doing. One point. I don't know. It's something, anyways. It's much more efficient per animal, but I don't know how it pans out per actual workforce effort to accomplish it. So, let's check uh, one more thing on the map here. We can probably grab some camels. I thought I saw some camels nearby. There was camels here, right? Alakazam. Oh, they moved. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's three of them. <gasps> Camels everywhere. Okay, you are going to grab some more people. The Peacemakers. I love the name. Uh, how many javelins we got? None. Rock throwers. How about you grab a bunch of rock throwers and just go throw rocks at the heads of those camels. Knock them out and drag them home. This is like early stage, early level arc where you just go and beat them with rocks. Why are you not spawning, guys? Come on. Wakey, wakey. Hello. There you go. Yeah, come on. Uh, rock throwers. How many do we have here? We have 13 there. I don't want to fight that. They might spit at me. Nine there. And ten there. Okay, well, I guess we're going after the nine. Come on, guys. You got, you got a camel each to beat up. And I'm going to click on capture, and I'm going to drag a whole bunch of them, if I can successfully do so, without killing off more of our population. Maybe. We'll bring them home and uh, we'll get them stuffed into the pastures or to the paddocks there and eventually made into pastures. Put into pastures? Made into them? I don't know. We got the most educated city. What a surprise. Because everybody else is disconnected. Yep. Uh, so this is. Uh, I'm going to go back into the city here. We're going to grab uh, a quick look around before we call it a cut uh, in here for this episode. 
Uh, it's taken probably an hour and a half to two hours of actual recording time, plus a bunch of fighting with the server, crashing issues, to make this episode. So understand that the, I would love to put these out on the daily. I love the game. It's fantastic. I try to play it every day. But in reality, it takes so much more work than, say, our EU4 standard type of Let's Play style does. So bear with me. I would love to keep the content coming if you guys are definitely wanting to see more of it. But you're going to have to uh, be patient with me as we take our time to get things rolling here. There are some things we definitely need to build here, like the doctor. But we're so desperately short on, food, on wood supply. I almost will be okay to put in like a lumber camp in here. Which is terrible yield. Does it even give us like 0 0.5? No, 0.3. 0 0.34, 0 0.31, yeah, it's just horrible, horrible yield. Of course, that's because I'm in the desert, so I understand. I'm not shocked and surprised. Ooh, we could probably get a bit there. We can bring it down this way. All these don't count as trees because these are um, harvested date palms. So that ruins that opportunity. We could put some more. We got one guy here harvesting. We could at least temporarily put one in here for 0.75. We could put one down maybe this way. Let's put this in here. That'll cover most of that shore. Then we could put another one up here. When the farms expand, they will absorb that territory, which will, if I don't place things really, really poorly. If I place things to get good yield of crops, I'm going to lose good farming or good harvesting of wood territory. So, uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other, maybe. There is there is definitely a priority for wood right now, though. So we'll be okay with that. Make those guys high priority. We got another one down there. Uh, might be able to fit one more in. Yeah, we can get another one or two over here. For the time being, anyways. One here. And one here. So those, that'll help. That should give us another uh, six total. If, wait, wait a second. Why'd you not place? Uh, I heard the thud. Did it give me a message saying, you suck, you can't do this? Why are you being so silly? Nope. It, oh, there you go. <laughs> now it spawned. All right. You are also going to go to high priority. And you are also going to go to high priority. Maybe, if you'll change. Nope. Man, we, we're, we're not connecting very well to our self here. There we go. Oh, it's, it's updated. Yeah, it's just taking a sweet time to let me know it's doing things. Uh, there's another one. He's making the point seven. Good. And how are you guys doing now? Did you make point the point seven as well? There's nobody to work there. All right. I guess that's uh, that's that's our problem here. We have all these unemployed or all these people needing jobs or all these jobs rather needing to be filled. Our growth is going to continue. We might let a little bit of time pass uh, between now and the next episode. I need population to grow. We need to um, gather enough wood to put in. Kind of the big kickers here are going to be to put in a, uh, where is he? He's on this page. A couple, probably three or four actually, of these doctors. Uh, vitally important, because that's gonna reduce our death rate. Our in infant mortality rate will be go down and the adults dying of sickness will also go down. So if we can get that in. Uh, what else do we need to do? We have a culture, a community supply. We'd need another one. Uh, I don't know what that's going to take. Wood, what a surprise. So we're going to have to put in another one of those. And uh, we sort of have enough justice right now. Eh? We don't have enough people in them, so. Elder Council is not going to be really critical right now. We've done, we've done the hunting for the camels. So next episode, our goal, next uh, session, our goal is going to be, you know, another hour or two of recording. <coughs> Pardon me. But to be to upgrade all the houses to the next tier, get ourselves uh, some proper medical facilities, and get the breeding of animals, of camels at least, up a little higher so we can get uh, 
some natural meat source coming in here. We'll bring these four camels back. We'll drop them off. And that's where I think we'll put in a cup for today. But thank you, everybody, for joining me. Uh, loving the game. Absolutely loving it. If you haven't gotten it already, it's coming up here at the date of this recording. We're about halfway through the month. Uh, by the time you're watching this, we may be nearer to the end of the month. But um, the first of every month, the game comes available for new people to buy the, I guess, the development support version, the early alpha. It is still a closed uh, alpha, closed beta, whatever. It's limited a number of access. So last month, he put out 70 uh, keys to the public to buy for 36 pounds something. European, whatever turns it to your currency. Cost about 42 bucks for me to get a copy. And uh, uh, that's what it is here in Canada. And basically, it took, I think, about an hour and a half for it to all disappear. So, you know, there you definitely want to be aware that you're going to have... Um, I'm going to hunt them this time. That you're going to have competition fierce for the first hour or two, and then everybody's going to complain that they're, all the keys are gone. So if you're stuck as being one of those who doesn't have a key yet or doesn't get one at the end of the month, hopefully you can at least get a bit of a fix here on our channel at uh, Clan Hawkins. We'll have a this series going out as frequently as I can make it. You know, every two, three days, hopefully we can get one out. Um, and once a week, maybe more on the other series. And then there's the stream Tuesdays from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. Uh, Central Time, and Saturdays from noon till 4 Central Time. So hopefully you guys can get your fix on Amir. Thanks for everyone for the feedback, comments, and support. Much appreciated. Uh, likes help on the YouTube channels as well as share it wherever you'd like. I'd appreciate that as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, we'll see you in game.